Hey guys, Kaltorak here. Today, I'm bringing you another Blood Moon event PvP video. If you've done Blood Moon recently, you'll notice that there are constantly these big groups of mages AoEing at the altar, usually where the Loa is at. That's because these AoE coin farm groups are able to get absurd amount of coins very quickly. I've had events where I've gotten over 2,000 coins, and heard of some mage groups getting well over 3,000 if they don't have to travel for the Loa. For this farm, you will want to be Arcane. I've tried it as Fire, Frost, and Arcane, but feel like Arcane is the best for this. 3 minute Arcane power makes clearing the altar really easy when needed. Sinking a bunch of Presence of Mind Flame Strikes is also a great burst. Improved Arcane Explosion is huge, since most of our damage is Arcane Explosion. The Arcane Talents also synergize well with Mass Regeneration, so Arcane just ends up being a good pick. Fire for Blast Wave and Impact Stun is nice, an Ice Barrier can help keep you alive for the extra GCDs, but honestly for this playstyle, Arcane just feels better. For runes, we are using Rewind Time, Spell Power, Mass Regeneration, Missile Barrage, and Burnout. Really the most important rune here is Mass Regeneration. Every time you and your fellow mages res, you will be casting Mass Regeneration on each other. This gets Beacon on all the targets, which means all of your spam explosions is doing some serious amount of extra healing. Mass Regeneration is just good burst healing in general. I also super recommend Rewind Time. Living Bomb's not that great for this, usually people are dying well before the explosions go off. Rewind Time is consistently able to full heal myself, which keeps me alive long enough for my team to get me another 50 to 100 coins. Living 2 to 3 extra globals can be the difference between you getting 20 coins and 200 coins. What's most important is having everyone on the same page. Using Discord and having a DBM timer so you all res at the same time is huge. Oftentimes, you will not have a spirit healer in range of the altar. You will have to do corpse reses, which puts you at 50% HP and mana. You want to gather at the same spot and begin to eat and drink the moment you res. Whenever your debuff that doesn't let you fight expires, you want to mass regen and get beacon on all of your friends. Go in at the same time, you want all of your explosions hitting at once so everyone is getting max healing. Single target high prior healers and DPS with fire blasts and literally just spam explosion on the altar as much as you can. Warning: The bruised effect from the Loa makes it to where you can't res from your corpse until after you have accepted a spirit res. If you die at the altar to the Loa, you will need to have your entire team res at the spirit healer, or have them do an altar attempt without you while you reset yourself. Really, I can't emphasize working together more. It doesn't matter which group you fight, or where you fight, as long as all five of you are going together. In terms of comp, five mages, or four mages and one priest felt the best. If I had to pick one, I'd say five mages, but priest can really be nice. For gear, you want the prior spell damage. You obviously want some stamina, but you very rarely find yourself going oom. You usually die in five to six seconds after entering combat. Spell damage is king here because you want to secure as many kills as possible. Anyways, that's the new farm. Shout out to the homies. Chode Love, Made You Poo. <laughs> Shout out to the homies. Chode Love, Made You Poop. Pocket Portal, Boogerhead, Beam. Little Deaky, Fresh, Eevee, and Fresh Pro for the sick matches this weekend. I was easily able to farm over 6,000 coins today. I will have Arathi Basin exalted soon, and then I might try and get a Tiger Mount. Based off the amount of mages I saw using this bomb squad strat, it's probably only a matter of time before Blizzard nerfs this, so get your farming done while you can, boys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Take care, and see you in the next one.